you talked a little bit about this earlier in the season, but as a rookie coming into the NBA, how has it been for you to be dealing with officials you know, and, and do smarter, yeah. where you kind of draw that line okay. of, of you know, so, trying to get calls and, 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 and you know, uh, I really don't get into it with officials. I just try to play. Um, I do my play and I let them kind of do the officiating. Were you surprised when they, when they teach you? Know, it's, it's okay. um, I mean, I was just so in the moment. Like, so I, I was, I mean, I was surprised. And then when I realized what I did, I was like, oh, that is a kind of a technical. So. On another topic, uh, Adam Silver the other day just talking about uh, how social media um, you know, may negatively affect players' moods and, and technology may affect how players feel overall. For you personally, when it comes to dealing with social media and any criticism or anything that's out there, how do you kind of deal with that and, and looking at social media? Uh, social media doesn't really affect my mood at all. Um, because, you know, obviously I'm living out my dreams, so I'm doing everything I can to just, you know, keep living it up. And, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, they see you from on the outside looking in there. They want to be where you at, so they'll do anything to try to criticize you, to make you feel some type of way. You know, I think it's, to, personally, I just think it's funny. You know, I, I see comments sometimes, I just laugh, show my friends, we all laugh about it. But other than that, I don't really take anything personal. Do you think it's the conversation that the NBA generates on social media gets more good for the game? Or? I mean, it's both. With social media, you know, it's definitely good in terms of um, promoting and, you know, a way to find out information quickly about what's going on around the NBA. But then, like, it's, like you just said, it's bad because of the, you know, the criticizing that goes on. And I think a lot of people, you know, say stuff but don't really realize the effect they may have on, you know, certain players. But, I mean, that's just what comes with it. So. I think the biggest thing with Kate is just his positivity and his optimistic, um, you know, views on just his situation. Um, you know, his situation wasn't easy at all. Being um, obviously, we both got drafted and he had to go through the G League and he went through a whole season not playing. But you know, just been talking to him, he's always been optimistic. He's always been had great energy and it's all paying off for him. Have you ever seen him get rattled at all? It seems like no. I mean, Kato, you know, Kato was Big Ten player of the year. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the amount of the numbers and the way he played um, for Ohio State was unbelievable. And, you know, I'm not surprised by it at all. And I'm, and he's, you know, a really good player. So, you know, I'm you know, really interested. I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Of it.